Wonder no more. This is the Cadillac ATS Coupe. Like other coupes, it does sacrifice some practicality for style, but unlike the CTS Coupe, that sacrifice isn't totally out of proportion. This certainly seems like it's better positioned to compete against other luxury coupes. Like the sedan, there's a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, good for 272 horsepower, and a 3.6-liter V6, good for 321 horsepower. That is more, respectively, than the BMW 428i and 435i. A 6-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive are standard, but you can get a manual with the 2.0T. The ATS sedan has drawn rave reviews for the way it handles and drives, and it's easy to think that the coupe will be even better. The optional magnetic ride suspension should be a huge benefit for both ride and handling. Other noteworthy features include a new smartphone text-to-voice feature, all the electronic warning systems you can think of, and a standard active noise cancellation system that somewhat, ironically, enhances the engine noise. From a design standpoint, the ATS Coupe is a carryover from the sedan, although note the new for 2015 Cadillac Crest. Now behind the front seats, it's obviously different. The ATS's back seat wasn't the most spacious to begin with, and the Coupe's is obviously worse. Expect the ATS Coupe to be a little more expensive than the sedan, but it will be cheaper than its main German competitors. They include the BMW 4 Series, which is bigger and certainly the performance benchmark, and the Audi A5 with its all-wheel drive and high-class cabin. Perhaps its closest competitor, though, is the new BMW 2 Series, which is a little closer in size and most likely price. Expect the ATS Coupe in showrooms this fall.